Hey everybody, welcome back to Premiere on Script. This isn't going to be a full learning video like I've done in the past. This is more of a quick vlog style entry to just let you know of some things that Adobe has been up to in supporting the scripting community for Premiere Pro. I was just going to do like a text blog post on the website, but it seems like my YouTube videos are getting a whole lot more traction, so here I am going to just upload a quick uh, update video. So from the beginning, when I started to learn how to script in Premiere, the biggest pain point that I had, and I know plenty of you have, is the issue that there was not proper documentation to learn this stuff. Now, if we look on this, this is what the After Effects scripting guide looks like, and it's just so great. I can go in, I can see, you know, all the different objects and how they're linked and what, uh, you know, functions I can run within them, and there's examples, and this is great. This is what... I was expecting when I went to learn to script in Premiere, but unfortunately, that was nowhere to be found. Part of the reason I started making these videos in this YouTube channel was to help facilitate the fact that uh, there wasn't a scripting guide like this After Effects scripting guide here. Well, I'm here to bring you guys some great news, and that is that we have a Premiere scripting guide. The guys over at Adobe who are working on supporting us as a community on the forums and helping us with all of our scripting pain points have created this great scripting guide. And while it's not as robust as that After Effects scripting guide, as I just showed you here, it's pretty good. And it will help me by, you know, I won't have to dig through Property Explorer all the time, uh, an extension that I mentioned in an earlier video. So really great. It has awesome stuff. You know, you can go to the project object, track item object, really anything that you need. It's got, uh, you know, attributes. It's got functions that you can run on them. Uh, just a little more information. It's, we're not so in the dark now, and I'm sure that they're only going to add to this. So props to Adobe for finally getting this out. I'm going to include the link to this um, down in the description. And since I'm making this really short video, I thought I'd include something that might interest some of you. I was at NAB uh, this last week. And I went to the Adobe booth when I saw that Mindhunter pushing boundaries in post-production, uh, that this speech was going to be given at the Adobe booth about the show Mindhunter. And so I went to see how are they pushing the boundaries in post-productions and was pleasantly surprised to see the guys that are presenting up here. Uh, both are editors on the Mindhunter show of talking about how they can automate their assistant editing processes into Premiere Pro. Now, they were using Python and uh, various apps to accomplish what they need to do, and I really urge you guys, I'm going to put this YouTube link in the description as well. If you have 30 minutes, it's a great watch. But this is another uh, showing of how people are using automation and code to speed up their workflows in ways that are really great. And the entire time I was watching this speech, I was just thinking in my head, oh my gosh, we could do this with ExtendScript and with panels and... Um, it's great to see that other people are thinking the way that we're thinking about speeding up these processes that editors shouldn't be doing anymore. And editors can get down to creating, you know, what we're here to create. So uh, this link is also going to be in the description. Check it out if you have 30 extra minutes. Really great watch. If you like the show too, some really cool insights there. So thanks for watching this quick update. I'll be back real soon with a new video where we're going to talk about uh, how to import CSV or TSV file, uh, comma or tab separated file information into your Premiere project and do various things with that. That's kind of what I'm working on next. Uh, so look up for that in the near future. But for now, hopefully this is a little bit to uh, keep you busy and keep you engaged in scripting uh, in Premiere. So see you next time.